Hi guys, so I'm here to do a deck reveal. Two decks that came into my possession as of yesterday. I've been waiting for these. Um, <laughs> I've been watching from my Amazon account because these decks were on pre-order and I was like just waiting for them to get to be available in the US. Um, so here we are, we're going to be talking about two different decks. Um, I'm combining these both in one video because um, I have never worked with them. So I only have so much to say, um, but we're going to start. Let's talk about this one first. So this is the Wild Woman Oracle. This is actually the deck that I was waiting for for the longest time. Um, so the Wild Woman Oracle, and it says, Awaken your true, free, and soulful self. This is by Cheyenne Zarate. And... It's absolutely beautiful. So I love little aesthetics like this. Look at the inside of the, the inside of this box. So pretty. You have this gorgeous coloring. It's just, it's just such a look that I just love. Comes with a guidebook. Chunky, chunky guidebooks like this. Ooh, even the guidebook is like colorful. Oh, oh my God. I just turned on Yamaya. I love that. So um yeah, the guidebook looks really good. Let me see, are there deck, are there tarot spreads or oracle spreads? Yes, there are. I love it. So we'll definitely have to do one of those. There's only, oh, there's only two spreads. There's not really anything much. The cards themselves, here are the backs. You have um, really simple backs. You have a moon at the center, flowers, um, leaves, it looks like feathers and butterflies. Really, really cute. And then the edges are like a black, matte black. And then the cards themselves are in this gorgeous, like what kind of a color is this? Is this, this isn't rose gold, is it? Maybe it is kind of like a rose goldy, bronzy. I don't know. It's really pretty though. Um, so these are going based off of, let me see what the guidebook says. Um, mythological folklore and contemporary tales about the empowering female figures who embody the wild woman in their own unique ways. When I saw this deck, it literally reminds me, and I should have, I should have grabbed the book, but I'm not going to get it. Um, it reminds me of the book, The Wild, um, Women Who Run Wild with Wolves. That book talks about all the different archetypes of the woman. It talks about folk tales, um, myths, all about the woman. And it's such a good book. So I highly recommend it. Um, but this is a deck that just is like, if you're, if you wanted a deck that was going to reflect the content that that book has, this deck is it. So, um, really beautiful. Like I said, I have not worked with this. I have not worked with this deck. I wish I could you know what? actually, let me just make life a little bit easier on myself. And let me just bring you guys closer to me rather than me closer to the camera. <laughs> Maybe that'll work. So there is a little bit of a glare, as you could see. Um, also, because my I'm right at the window, and I know this is probably reversed from the camera, so I apologize. Um, but it's so pretty. Here's the card that I pulled. Actually, because I randomly went to this one, let's read about this one. So this is Yamaya, Mother of All, Divine Care. Ooh, that's card number four. So the message, in times of suffering, it can be difficult to believe and feel that we are loved, protected, and supported by the divine, especially when there is little or no evidence of it manifested in our physical surroundings. Yamaya reminds you that you are her beloved child, and you were always held in her sacred womb. Know that divine care and protection or providence is always available to you and you are never truly alone. What a beautiful message. And then it gives you a little bit of information about Yamaya. So it talks about where the story comes from, where she comes from. And then it goes into symbolism. 
Oh, I love that. So you get a little bit of the divination message. So you'll have in the guidebook, you'll have the card, the little blurb on the card. It goes into the divination message. Then it goes into the little a little bit about the folklore or that story. And then it goes into symbolism. The queen, thus the queen of the ocean is truly the seed and beginning of life and earth. Ooh, I love this. So, <laughs> so you, you're going to, you're going to want to use this guidebook, which um, I actually like don't mind pulling the guidebook out, especially when I'm live on a one-on-one -on -one with a client. If I really feel like the, the, the guidebook is going to give me vital information for that person or additional messages that they need to hear, then I will totally pull the guidebook out. So um, I 100% love this. <laughs> um, and there are some, oh, this is beautiful, Weaver of the Web of Life. Oh, there are some folk tales that I am familiar with. And then there's a, quite a few that I have not heard. The Creatrix. The artwork is also very, very detailed. Um, maybe if I hide my face, it'll focus better. The artwork is super detailed. So when you're looking at the images, you're going to get so much out of it. Oh, so beautiful. So gorgeous. Freya, Seasons of the Witch. I love it. Um, Persephone. Oh, Good. Okay, we're gonna have to read this one too. Well, look at Persephone first. Gorgeous. And then look at the call of the siren, sexuality. And it has my little whale guide, my little animal, spirit animal whale. We gotta read this one. <laughs> Number 20, call of the siren. Let's see here. Message. The siren reminds you that you are sex that your sexuality is made of the same energy that builds the universe, as it is the life force that causes that courses through all creation. If you have fear or discomfort surrounding your sexuality, whether it be due to social conditioning or painful past experiences, you are being called to heal these wounds and develop a healthy, empowering relationship with your sexuality, beauty, and femininity. Oh, that's such a beautiful card. Like, I literally freaking love that. Oh, I love it. Okay. Pew, beautiful deck. I'm trying to think, like, what kind of energy of a reading would, the, would this deck be appropriate for, you know? Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily, this is like a deck I would not use for love. You know what I mean? Like, for a love or relationship reading, I would not pull this. I would use this deck for solo, inner work, shadow work, healing for sure, um, moon work. I would totally pull this deck out for something like that. But this is definitely not a deck for, you know, like the future or career or love readings. Like, I don't see this as that essence. So I love it, though. That's good. This this deck will work with certain clients that I feel pulled to. So I can't wait, but I definitely have to use it for myself. And then the other deck I want to talk about is Oracle of the Witch, Reclaim Your Birthright. And this is by Flavia Kate Peters and Barbara Michael John Free. So gorgeous. So this one has its own aesthetic. You have all this red and black. Really, really beautiful. And let's have a look. Oh, look at the inside. So look at the inside of the box. Reds, gorgeousness, love it. <laughs> and then this one also has a guidebook. This guidebook feels a bit more chunkier and meatier. Oh, it is color, I love that. So it is a full color. Oh, look at that, even the, the edges. I love this. Okay. So let's see. Are there spreads? Yes, there are. The temple, the sacred temple, pentagram spread. So there's a couple spreads in here. I love it. 
And then you go into, oh, I love that, Oracle of the Witch. And then you have like the little hag stone with a little witchy in the middle. <laughs> and then you go into the messages. So you're definitely, it looks like with the guidebook, you're getting witchy guidance. You get the wisdom message. <clears throat> I'm sorry, not the wisdom message. You get the little blurb, like just a couple sentences. And then it goes into a whole in-depth witchy guidance. Um, it gives you the light and the shadow. So it kind of gives you kind of like the upright and the negative or the reverse. And then it also gives you the witchery of that goddess. So for the first card, it's Diana. So it goes into her, Diana's um, storyline. I love it. So here are the cards right off the bat. It's like just red, 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 red. I love the edges, this beautiful blood red. And then the card backs are so pretty. So they're red. And then you have like those witchy hands with the all seeing eye in the center. So gorgeous. It just fits. And then the cards themselves are red backgrounds and you have this beautiful border. I love it. I just, I really like, I don't even know what is it. Is it monochromatic? Is that what the word is? I don't, I don't know where you have like one or two colors for a deck. I find that to be so beautiful. <laughs> so we have Diana and they're, they're goddesses. Hecate. Aradia. The Oracle. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm getting all these. Um, the Oracle. Oh, look at her eyes. So creepy. Is it going to focus? Focus, focus, focus. Probably not. Sorry, guys. One of these days I will invest in like a top notch video camera thing to film videos with. One of these days. Midwife. So you kind of have like goddess and then you have other themes or like other archetypes. The herb garden. I love that one. I kind of want to read this one. So let's see the herb garden. Ooh, spell casting. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Spell casting. My computer is lagging a little bit. Um, the herb garden. This is number six. Number six. Herb garden. Within my garden are the seeds that grow in places others thought you'd never tread. Um, now is the time to get your hands dirty, to dig deep within and unearth your natural affinity with the floral world. Are you sow plant as as you sow plant and tend your own plot? Think outside the window box for a moment and listen for the subtle messages of wisdom that emit from the plant world as each variety has its own restorative properties and unique healing abilities. A deep connection with nature calls to you to reclaim the path of a green witch and your role as an herbalist. And I love that. <laughs> I, I'm so drawn to herbs and like all of that kind of stuff. Um, oh my gosh, my whole laptop is just going crazy. I love my whole, um, my, I love the whole herb thing. Like that's just such a connection that I have. Um, I feel like it's a past life thing with me. I really like these cards and I love some of them have, um, they have symbols. I thought they had the astrology. I don't see it. Never mind. I thought I was seeing them. I, I think I thought this was an Aries sign. I don't know why the high priest. So it is kind of dark. It could be pretty dark. Um, I don't know why. I feel like spirit is messing with my laptop, you guys. Let me unplug that. Um, familiar spirit. Oh, this is such a witchy deck. I have to use this. I have to use this this time of year. Oh my God. Just look at those images. Ooh, I love it. I have not gone through all of these. Here's the crone. The crone. Oh. 
this is literally the first time I'm looking through them. Scrying. This is such a vibe. It's such a spooky. It's like kind of spooky, but at the same time, it's so good. It's so good. This is not a deck for everyone. <laughs> this is not a deck for everybody. Look at this. Witch hunts. Oh my God. Yeah. I freaking love it. So um, I, <laughs> I cannot wait to work with these decks. I, to be honest, I feel like these could almost be shadow and light, you know, um, they can be like sister decks. They feel like that, but I definitely would say this deck, the Oracle of the witch, um, is probably also a deck for shadow work specifically, specifically shadow work. Um, I would also use this for kind of inner work healing. I would use this for dark moon rituals or like dark moon, like the, the new moon energy. Um, I would use this for meditations, um, or connecting with your deities or connecting with just ancestor, like these, this, especially wild woman ancestors. And then this one would be good for deities. So I really, really love, um, <laughs> I love the energy of both of these cards. Let me know if you guys have this. Do you have um, either one of these? How do you feel about them? Do you enjoy them? Um, and let me know. And I cannot wait to bring these out. These are definitely like fall, winter vibes. So you definitely will be seeing me use these cards in the future. Um, so thank you guys for being, being a part of me with this, being a part of this video. I feel like Mercury is still retrograde in my, at least in my world, <laughs> like my laptop was doing good all of the retrograde. And now that it's over, I feel like it's like starting to act up. So I think I need to do a massive update on it is what's happening here. So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys in my next video very, very soon. Love you. Take care. And I will, um, catch up with you guys later. Bye guys.